Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Witcher 3. Last episode, we got some information on the Griffin, studied it, got the, what was it called, the Blackthorn? I think that's what it was called. Lured it out and killed the Griffin. Informed the, the captain that we, we took it down, and he told us where Yennefer was. And just as we were about to head back, um, Yennefer actually comes out of nowhere with the whole, not an army, but with a Nif Nilfgaardian army surrounding her. So I don't know what the deal is, but she says somebody important wants to talk to me. So now we're here, dressed super nice, about to get introduced to this general emperor dude. I don't know exactly the story. But yeah, pretty crazy episode. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. And I guess now let's uh, follow the Chamberlain and see what this this Emperor guy wants. But before this video starts, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and check out all the links down in the description. If you're interested in any of the gear I used, it would really help out the channel. Let's go. Follow the Chamberlain. Has, am I saying that right? I feel like I'm going to be butchering just all these terms and words. I got all looking, you know, I look all spiffy in for you now, bud. Yeah, he's got the longest Nagut. name ever. How do I, Emir do I remember Emrace. that? Oh, no. bow, 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 bow. Bow. Why would I not bow? That's fucked up. Bow, come on. Yes, we learned to bow last episode, too. Yes. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. Awkward. Bye. All my training. All right, I got this. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> he don't look very happy. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. Siri? You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri, yeah. Siri left. That's his daughter? Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going I to insult you, to convince you and return to me a favor. In fact, Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She looks so she unhappy in that dress. Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Only doing this for Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your Oof. motives do not interest me. Only results. Yeah, some... What is he, Yennefer a dad? will tell you the rest. Some dad you are, This bro. audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. All right, then. To find Siri. I'm... In, so, this is... She's older now, right? She's not a little girl, right? Interested me, to see what she looks pleases. like. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> Glad we're making friends here. It's crazy. You can see like elements of cyberpunk in this a little bit. You know, the people talking, the, the subtitles over their their heads. Just little hints of cyberpunk here and there, but. Obviously, Cyberpunk is a third person and is not set in these times. 
Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. All right. Talk to Yennefer. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. All right, I swear to God, Geralt, nothing crazy better Nick. happen. You look positively smashing. Everybody better uh, keep their clothes time on. To take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Back. Where'd she go? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Oh, she's a lady. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yeah, all grown up. So there are agents now? How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Care Mall. Ah, well, there you go. Thanks for clarifying. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> but let's focus on Siri, all right? Yes, let's right. focus. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I wow. can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. She's not a witcher, right? To the best tracker Witchers tend to I have know. white hair and like yellow you eyes. You must find her, right? Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. What's the Wild Hunt want with... Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> okay, damn, sarcasm. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. All right. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. All right. That's it. No passwords, secret handshakes. None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. All right. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Oh. Then I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? I don't know what happened this last game, but I kind of want to know now. It's all right. It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it, any of it. All right, all right. Time to get going. Can I have my armor back? Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... Burger King. You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. <laughs> Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, 
Talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. All right. Oh, she still kissed him, though. I shall be waiting. All righty. Retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain. Oh, hello. Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, Certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring, there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching? Not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. I mean, this is a lot, and I don't really know. I understand most of it, so I think just for now, we'll come back to him Thanks for your help. later. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. All right. I want to. I want to oh. get to Siri. <laughs> How might I serve the general? My armor. By returning my things. You have Citrus it in your back and pocket? Cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Oh, nice. Thanks, bunches. <laughs> the emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yep. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Alrighty, travel to Velen. Alrighty, so from here we can fast travel. <clears throat> okay, so we can actually travel to different, like, continents. Alright, no man's land. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. All right. Velen. Five days later. Dot, dot, dot. Here we are. Am I still wearing the same clothes? I hope I'm in my armor. Oh. Oh, damn. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay, good. I'm in my armor. <laughs> All right. Let us go. Go to the inn at the crossroads. Let's take down these wild dogs, shall we? Ow. Hi, my no, okay, my 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 horse is gonna freak out. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay. Oh. Fuck fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Bitch. Okay, 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 okay. You're gonna make me wait. Bitch ass dog. Whew. All right. Didn't look so good. Didn't look so good. Let's look at these guys. I need to sell that griffin's head. So when we get to the end, or when I get to the store, we'll do that. Oh god. Christ. Don't find me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. My army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Alan time. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. All right. Experience 25. Hey, leave my freaking horse alone, you bitch ass dog. Jeez, I'm definitely gonna need some more food soon. <laughs> All right, poor freaking roach, man. All righty. Ask about the agent called Hendrick at the inn at the crossroads. First, let's talk with the guy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's talk to <laughs> let's talk to this guy. Buy some food from him. Looking for a man goes by Hendrick. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him? What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. What's going on? 
You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. What? I haven't finished my drink expecting visitors. Got company. Who is it? Innkeeper. Vodka. Who's this? Un? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi! Great boy! What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf! Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Care for a drink? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about <laughs> that, too. <laughs> Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. I've a bench you can use. Well, all right. <laughs> I step a note, and I'm there's talking the to the kid with what looks okay. like his son. Bro, I want to buy some of your shit too. Come on. I say probably disguise. Orson's all right. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? All right. What do you know? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. All right, wait. Can I talk to you? I want. Mm. I want some food. Rig change. Wouldn't mind a drink. Sure. All right. All right. Let's buy some chickens. Jesus Christ! Seventy-five bucks for a chicken. Dried fruit. How much? Two hundred for four hundred. Shit's expensive, bro. I have raw meat. How do I cook it? Okay, I found a fire and I like tried to Google to see if I can cook the raw meat, but apparently you, you can't. You just eat it like like it is. Which I <laughs> okay. Well, let's look for the agent called Hendrik in the village of Hearth Hearthon. Hearth Hearth whatever. <laughs> bro, onward. All right. They're strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Weird. Let's have a look around. Oh, we got wild dogs over here. Hey, bitches! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? <laughs> Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away! It's all right. Calm down. It's over. <laughs> Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened. Farewell. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. 
took them all. Why? The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. Oh shit. The, the wild hunt took them. through and through. Hendrick screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. <laughs> All right. Find the agent. Agent called Hendrick. Let's have a look around. him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. All right. Gotta fit a keyhole somewhere nearby, hopefully. Under the rug. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Yep, here we go. Missing. Daughter of the Bloody Baron. Wow. left unlocked on display almost lost his mind or hmm. another hmm. secret passage what do we got here a ledger Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. 
missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged, ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Well, now what? Find the witch, go to the Baron's castle. Okay, go to the Baron's castle. Alright, we're here. Find the Baron. Alright, I'm gonna get off my horse. Actually, I'm gonna keep riding. Oh, there's like a black skull here or something. I want to start buying some armor, some swords. Halt! Who goes there? Baron Holm. Depends who's asking. A Witcher. Want to talk to him? Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. I did. Led me here. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. That's right. Good math, sir. Open the gate. Sergeants. Ardle. Witcher to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? <laughs> Alright, follow the sergeant. Sir, sergeant. I called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't oh, exist. Oh, blacks are the threat there! So what are you all doing yes. here? Yes. Had a choice after the black ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah, Commander. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. It's just that blabber. Didn't come here to chat. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality. Especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. All right. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. There it is. 
A snifter? Glad to have a drink. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. <laughs> hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand. I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place, get to the point. Um, lovely place? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Are we gonna see her? Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Oh! Up, girl. She's so grown up. Ah, what? When you play a series, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. What the <sighs> fuck? That was close. Must leave this place. Oh my god, I'm Siri. All right, let's go. She needs help. Come on, boys. One more. Calm down. She's got green eyes. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yeah, I'm lost too. No. Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet, but I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How is it you're here? Where do you live? How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly. And I'm going to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Mm. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. 
But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. That's Come. smart. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. The Wolf King? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. <sighs> All right. Follow Gr Gre Gretka. Oh, Whoa! I got you. Don't worry. Quick, hide. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, what the fuck? So I'm still eating. Can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look, there's something there. Oh, wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. It clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. <laughs> Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? <laughs> the Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. 
When did children get so smart? <laughs> what will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. No. Uncle Vesemir. Alright. Gather Wolf's Bane. Here we go. Wolf's Bane. And Fool's Parsley. This mistletoe, I'll take it though. Hmm. Here you go, more wolf spain. Oh, have a fight! Quickly! Parsley leaves. Mistletoe. Hmm. Parsley leaves. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes. Mm. Oh! Belly's all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. All right. Think we've got everything now? All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. <laughs> what you doing? Greasing my blade. Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Alright. This way. This way. Through the cave. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Oh, I don't choked. <laughs> oh shit. That sounds like a big boy. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do! Hide! Oh, let's go! Uh. <laughs> Shit. What's that oil gonna do? There's a lot of damage. Oh, he's down. Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren, uh... the little one. No details. 
You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. All right. A few hours later. Ooh, that looks good. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Oh, Get yeah, because he has that missing daughter. On you. Wow. It's kind of fucked up. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm well, pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. <laughs> we'll speak once you've rested. That's nice of him. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. Oh. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. Yeah. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. What? I get what you're after. Tell me it's important talk. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you he are. He wants me to find his daughter. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. All right. What if I refuse, deal? How do I know I can trust you? Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Deal. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God, this man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Oops. Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. All right. Um, got any enemies? Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. All right. Is any unusual? Anything unusual? Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently. Do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another lass before her. 
common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. All right. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. All right. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. You want me to find them want or me not? To find them or yeah, not? Oh, yeah, bro. I do. <laughs> then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. All right. Well, all right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and check out all the links down in the description. If you're interested in any of the gear I use, it would really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.